Hello, hello, welcome back to the best Arcanist YouTube channel ever. And this is one of the best games that I've had in a while. Uh, again, features Stir Power DX, features another unique book, Full Blood, which I have uh, shown a couple of times on this channel as well. And uh, it's a great game, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this was right after my uh, previous video, uh, my previous game that I had against uh, DX, um, we just played a little best of three match. Um, so when I won the first one, he was like, okay, best of three. So I was like, okay, sure. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted to run. Uh, the thing is, when you're facing uh, an Archmage on this game, you have to be really thoughtful with what types of books you're going to choose to play. Because if I just run any sort of generic mix, and it's generic versus generic, I'm going to lose 80% uh, of the time, 90% of the time. Just because DX has a more, a better fundamental understanding of the micro aspects of this game, and mechanics, and you know more technical stuff, and just a better understanding of generic, I think, personally, uh, than I do. And so if I try to just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him with, ge with another generic book, he's going to just roll me over. And so I thought, what's a way that I can spice things up a little bit? Um, maybe feature, maybe maybe bring a couple of, uh, you know, unpredictable spells or uh, think of some different strategies or tactics that I could use that he maybe hasn't seen or hasn't played against a lot. Um, and also thinking about like, okay, what type of player is he? He doesn't like to bring towers. He does like to bring owl a lot, and uh, does love generic. Doesn't usually often have you know level threes. Um, and so, knowing all this, I decided to bring full blood and just kind of see how it goes. Um, so we get this rematch. It's a best of three game two. I'll zoom out a little bit here. And he's able to get turn one, I suspect, to flash. Um, he could actually flash here, but I haven't made my flash tutorial yet, so he doesn't know that flash. Um, and so he abducts first. Uh, hey DX, if you're watching, uh, I'm gonna get a flash tutorial up soon here, and uh, you should you should give it a watch. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but... Uh, no, watch it, but like I'm also, I'm also joking. So yeah, give it a watch, but also you're a... You're a great flasher. I, I don't doubt your ability. But yeah, he brings out the spirit, and I'm thinking, okay, does he have Storm Shield again? Maybe, maybe not. But it's whatever. I'm just gonna bring out some early damage. Uh, here I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna trap me and summon a swarm, probably. Um, but again, I'm full blood, so I'm not so concerned with being trapped, because I can kill the 25 health minions in one click. Uh, at this point, I'm also thinking that, okay, it's turn 3, at turn 4, I get Siphon. So I need to stall one more turn, and I can uh, kill the two minions, and just crush his momentum. Uh, at this point, I hope he brought Blast from the past, because he forgot it last game, and also drained too. So hopefully he fixed that. Uh, if he doesn't, no excuses, I guess. Um, but yeah, the game goes on. So I summon the bank, um, and it's turn four at this point. I decide to siphon. I did familiar once first because I had thought that I am killing the storm spirit and I'm killing the swarm. So that's 50 health of minions that I'm killing. So I would gain 25 health. But I forgot that I actually siphoned my blood bank too. So I actually would have gained closer to 50. So I should have familiared once more. But I didn't. Just a small micro thing that is uh, good to know that the Blood Siphon actually does 25 damage to all minions, not just your opponents. So, anyway, he traps me, and um, at this point, I am not too worried about Dark Knight. I just keep summoning minions and forcing him to respond. You know, if he Dark Knights, I can always gate out. Okay, so he did bring Blast from the past. Nice. That's good. Um, so I bring the vampire out, um, and he makes a great play here. He abducts the vampire, 
and gets the flash. And at this point I'm like, oh fuck. I'm kinda depressed because I face DX a lot and he owns me over and over. And I make mistakes like this and I'm like, oh, that's just depressing. I just lost a huge uh, win con. I guess I can resurrect it, but you know, I got kind of annoyed at that. So here I'm thinking, okay, I can blast from the past to escape the Dark Knight. Um, the turn before I did pull out the Bloodlust to deflight him and he traps me. So I'm trying to escape the Dark Knight and I was like, okay, I can blast from the past and I can craze it. Then I'll kill it and that's fine. So here I'm thinking, okay, I can't escape. Shit. Uh, what do I do? Uh, in my first game, I don't know, it was like third, third game, third video. I played Tiger, who ran full blood, and when I trapped him with the Dark Knight, he used a cool trick, which is he bloodbathed the Dark Knight and himself, and I was like, well, damn, I could try that, and then the Dark Knight can't charge me, he can't really move, um, and then I have one other turn to kind of decide, okay, how can I deal with the Dark Knight? Um, so at this point I decide, okay, let me just stuff myself with the bloodbath, maybe I can hit him too. Um, and it's perfect. I get him stunned, I get myself stunned, obviously, and the Dark Knight stunned. He lobs the drain on the Dark Knight because he wants to keep it alive. Um, fortunately, it does 100, or it heals to 100 exactly. Um, which, I mean, I don't know how lucky I have to get for that to happen. Um, and at this point I'm thinking, oh cool, I can craze him, that's easy. But then I realize, uh-oh, I am also stunned. So I'm a little bit kind of confused at what to do, kind of stumped. Uh, and then it dawned on me, maybe I can blast from the past the Dark Knight and create distance, then I can craze it. And it works, I was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm completely one now at this point. Hell yeah. So that was a sweet play. Um, I was pretty proud of that. Um, to be able to blast from the past it and then have enough distance to the craze. Um, so yeah, great play here, and at this point he's uh, got to just continue to summon minions. Uh, I had an option to infect there, but I don't think it kills, and I would just be left with a very little amount of health. Um, the key here is that his flight is down often so that he can't run away from me. Um, and at this point I just decided to just rush him a bit, get the lust out, I know that I have infection soon, I've got bones which he can't avoid necessarily, um, not without flight at least, but he's able to actually escape with the Pegasus which is a good play, um, and at this point he's probably going to flight protection shield, or you know he doesn't have flight yet, he's just going to protection shield, try to uh, side hide as much as possible. He does block me with the Pegasus here, but I know I can always blast from the past out, it's no big deal. Um, if I had a way to get to him, I could go over there and, you know, lust him again, but I don't. I elect for the bones just so he's a little bit more trapped, and there I thought, okay, let me trap this Pegasus, which is just good, just to keep a minion uh, that your opponent has out that's trapped, and then also I can move the gargoyle all the way over to maybe, you know, lust him or less that little bone there, and then he has to deal with the gargoyle. So at this point I'm thinking, why is he coming up? He has 60 health, and I will lust him and I will kill him. Good game. Good night. But he again makes a cracked play, uh, as Ink says, who is another uh, player. Ink, if you're watching this, that play was cracked. Uh, he just used abduction, and man, saying that out loud is just so, so cringe. I hate all that Gen Z lingo. Anyway, uh, he runs away, raised the gargoyle. I'm at 81, I'm like, oh no, this sucks. Am I dead? I am thinking maybe I can climb up there and you know, just get as close to him as possible. I had this fantasy of being able to run over there and like lust him for the win. 
I tried and I failed, so I just towered. I'm just one step closer to him. I know that I can blast from the past this little pixel right here, oops, right there, and then, you know, get to him. He sees that too, and so he runs away. But again, I'm thinking, you know, what's his play here? He does a perfect ice shield, which is just insane. I don't know how he did that. Uh, and I'm out of blast from the past, so I'm like, oh crap, that sucks. Uh, here he protection shields the Pegasus, it's really his only option. I infect, it does a shit ton of damage, and he's all the way down to 30. Um, he has no tower, his protection shield's down, I'm thinking, alright, surely I'm, I'm one. There's no way I lose this. But it's DX. He'll find a way to prolong the game, I'm sure. So, we'll see if he has any more crazy plays up his sleeve here. He went all the way to the right side and then went all the way to the left side. Just trying to think about how he can stay alive for long in the game. Uh, he decides to tree the side. Um, I make an interesting play here. So here's my thought behind this. Infection does 15 damage every turn. Uh, if you're not near any minions. So next turn he'll go down to 15. And then the following turn he'd go down to 0. But if a player is next to him, he should take 30 damage. 15 from the player that's next to him that has an infection, and then 15 from himself who has an infection. And he's got 30, so I'm thinking, okay, he's dead. Good game. But for some stupid reason, I gate, and he's at 15. So why does that infection not spread. Does anyone know in the comments why this wouldn't kill him? It only does 15. I thought that that would infect me. I would be at 66 infected and I would do 30 damage. Do I need to be infected first or do you not spread? Does the infection damage not multiply when it's your your player or when I gate on my turn? I don't know what what's the nuance there, what happened. So yeah, if anyone can explain that in the comments, uh, feel free. But yeah, I, I thought I had this like, you know, brain, uh, big brain play, and then I'm just like, oh shit, I'm just lost. Nice. So, I'm a little depressed right now. I'm thinking, okay, he's just gonna shock bomb me, but he actually doesn't have it. And so he blasts from the pass, he brings out the axes, which do 30 damage per axe, and I live with one health. One health. Just a flesh wound. I already had the achievement, but I actually got uh, Master of Blood and Blood Arcanist. Uh, or Arcanist. Uh, which is, Master of Blood is to win a game with the Book of Full Blood, and then Blood Arcanist is win a game with blood above 1500 rating, I believe. So, anyway, I kill him with the flesh wound, and got a second win. I won the second of the best of three, and I was like, I am out of here. Good night. But, yeah, and then after, it was funny, he was like, uh, okay, uh, one more serious game. I was like, nope, you said best of three. I won 2-0. Have a good evening. And I logged off. <laughs> kind of a troll move, but uh, I don't know. DX is kind of fun to troll like that every now and then. But yeah, I always have good games versus him. Um, I was just able to kind of get... Uh, book advantage this game um, didn't play perfectly as I said you know uh, trapped myself a couple times uh, meaning like I wasn't able to get over to the side easily and he was able to escape but yeah another kind of cool game um, where he didn't have a lot of rush spells so I was able to kind of exploit that um, but I just got a little bit lucky because I didn't know that what he's gonna bring he could have brought a rush book I just kind of bank on the fact that it's DX, and DX doesn't often bring rush books, so, you know, let me try Full Blood, which will excel uh, against most meta books. Um, but yeah, really cool game, fun game. 
Um, I clutched it to the very last second there where I was able to live with just one health. I uh, don't really have games like this often, but thought it was a great one to feature on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. And it always feels good, not gonna lie, to, to dethrone an Archmage, especially when that Archmage is, uh, is DX. DX, if you're watching this, I uh, love you, man, but didn't quite get there on this one. I was able to, to best you. Okay, just please don't don't post don't post uh, your record against me on your channel, because it's like what two wins for me, the two wins that are on my channel, and like 15 losses or something. So yeah, DX knows this is all in good fun, but um, yeah, don't be surprised if you see DX just post like 10 wins versus me. Uh, he actually has one on his channel, uh, which is a pretty great game. You guys could, should go over to DX's channel and take a look at that one. Um, and he has uh, some really interesting commentary there. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, always a treat to play high-level players. Had a lot of fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next commentary. Peace out.